Yo, what's up? It's Patrick, kind of cute. And in this video, this is crazy. In this video, we're gonna talk about Microsoft Flow, Power BI, a little SQL Server, and how you can connect all those up to help teachers take attendance in their classrooms. Stay tuned. All right, what's up? All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about some Flow, some Power BI, some SQL Server, but why? Why, Patrick? Why are you talking about this, right? You already did a video on Flow. Well, I wanna do something else. So as you guys know, I work for US Education. I travel a bit from state to state to state to state domestically, not like Adam, right? I'm not globe trotting yet, but I will be soon, so check me out. I'm, I'm, I'm leaving the United States, so watch out for me. We'll talk, we'll have videos on that later, 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 later. But I'm talking about K-12 systems, K-12 schools right here in the United States. I've been traveling, talking to teachers, superintendents, CIOs, just the whole range of people at these educational institutions. And one of the common trends is teachers, they do a lot of work. They are busy, they, always have, they already have this huge workload and attendance is something that just adds more work to the load they already have. How do we help minimize it? How do we help shrink it, right? So hanging out with some teachers and superintendents, I was like, you know what? Let's see if I can put something together. Now, let me put my little asterisk, my little disclaimer on this, right? So I'm an optimist. This is a little pie in the sky, right? It's not perfect. And I know some of you guys are gonna go, but what about this? What about this? You guys are gonna find some holes in the solution that I create. Look. Right? I'm just I'm doing this video to get you guys thinking of what's possible. What's possible with the Microsoft technology stack, right? We got all these different things that constantly boom, 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 hit me in the head. And I'm just trying to show you how to use them, right? You guys know I love Power BI and I've been kind of tinkering with Flow, been doing SQL Server forever. So why not bring them together? Why not make them do stuff together? And why not help the teachers out, right? They're a great group of people. We want to make their lives a little easier. So Stop talking, Patrick. Show us what you got. Let's head over where? To my laptop. All right, so to, to solve the problem, think about taking attendance, right? So I'm leaving my laptop and I'm coming back. Think about when a teacher takes attendance. I talk to my kids, I got two kids, one in the seventh grade, one's a junior in high school. Both of them have, at their schools, they get Surface Pros and both of them have phones, right? They have two devices and so why can't they, take attendance themselves. Why can't when they walk in the class, they get their phone and they tap it, attendance taken, right? Do we trust them? I know what you guys are thinking. We gotta trust these kids, but why not? Why not make it their responsibility? We're gonna give the teacher a view to see who's in class, you know, when they're tapping those phones. Let's just put it back on them instead of the teacher doing it. So now let's actually head to my laptop. I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps of what I built and you can provide your feedback in the comments below. All right, let's head to my laptop. Okay, first thing you wanna do is um, go out to SQL Server. What I did was I created a table that's just tracking attendance. A very simple table. You can blow this out into a full-blown database. You may already have a student information system that tracks this data, but just imagine it, right? Just, just use your imagination with me. So I created a simple table um, that stores the information. After I did that, I headed over to Power BI all right, so I head over to Power BI, and what I did was I created a streaming data set. So there's tons of videos and lots of information on how to create the streaming data set. Not gonna walk you through it, but what I am gonna show you is my streaming data set that I created um, here. And so I'm gonna click edit. And you can see I created one called daily attendance and I have some columns that I'm gonna capture the information and stream it to my dashboard. It's pretty cool, okay? All right, so once I did that, once I created my streaming data set, then I went to Flow, right? So I headed over to Flow. Here's Flow, flow.microsoft.com. That's it, right? And then click on templates. And then in templates, click button, right? And then you got all these different templates that they've already built out there. You know, peruse them, take a look at what they've done. The guys at Flow, they're great. I got a buddy of mine named John. What's up, John? He works on the Flow team. He, you know, he keeps hitting me with all these great ideas. John and I are doing some cool stuff together, right? Create a blank one, create a blank flow. And the key to this flow, right? So right in the search, you click button. I'm sorry, don't click button, type button. And you'll see the flow button right there. 
and then you start building it out. Not gonna walk you through all this. If you want some more information about it, if you wanna see how I built this flow, post it in the comments below, all right? But, so what we're gonna do through the magic of TV, or maybe the magic of YouTube, right? Um, I'm gonna switch over to a flow that's already built. And so what I did was I created this flow and you can create the button. When you create the button, you can say, hey, I want some user input. Now, when you're actually developing this for prime time, right, for the classroom, you probably wouldn't want people inputting anything. You wanted to capture it dynamic, um, automatically. Flow has that capability, all right? But I'm just gonna do this for demonstration purposes, okay? So I created my flow button and it's gonna require the end user to enter first name, last name, and the actual desk number, why desk number? I'm gonna show you why in a few minutes. Then, right, I have these parallel processes that's running here. So you add, you know, you click this, you add your first action, which I'm gonna write this to SQL Server first, and then the next one I wanna do, I hit parallel branch, and then I'm gonna stream it to a, flow, a Power BI data set, okay? So I got two parallel things happening here. When you click that flow button, it's gonna write it to a SQL Server. It's gonna insert that information that you collect into a SQL Server. You see I have some, you know, I'm using some of the fields. That's what the blue is. I'm hard coding some values. Flow has an expression language. I'm gonna, there's a link that's gonna be posted below that you can connect, that you can um, use if you wanna learn more about the flow expression language. It'll be up there um, in, below this video. And so you can see I'm doing it here and I'm repeating almost the same step when I'm using my add to data set rows for Power BI, um, but I'm just doing a little bit concatenation on the first and last name because I just want the student name. But regardless, when you click that button, it's gonna stream some to my SQL Server, some to the Power BI data set. And so you're like, why am I sorting in SQL Server? Because I'm gonna archive this data. I'm gonna hang on to it. Maybe I wanna develop a report and look at the trends, the you know attendance trends for students or how many people were absent on this particular day. Things like that, right? I get this going and I click save my flow. So now my flow is saved, okay? And then the next step is that we need to get the flow button on the kids' mobile devices. So my buddy John says he's gonna give me some information on how you can push these things out. But just in case, right, for this demo, I'm gonna show you how to do it um, manually, okay? So once you get this created, and so here's my phone. I'm gonna load up my phone here. There we go, there's my phone. And you need to download the Flow app. So you get Flow right there, and you'll see Flow is gonna open up on my screen. And so I'll click buttons at the bottom and you see your daily attendance button, it's there. But that's that's too many steps, right? So what you can do, so I have an Android device and John said, my buddy at the Flow team, he said this works on the iPhone too. I don't have an iPhone, but if you press and hold the screen, right? You'll see, let's go here. If you press and hold the screen, you'll see widgets. You choose widgets, scroll down to the bottom, Look for flow, you click flow, right? You touch and hold it, and then you can drag it where you want it to go. And then it's gonna say, hey, what do you wanna put there, right? So it's gonna find all your buttons. And so I already have that button, so I'm just gonna kinda you know, cancel out of this. So you can see right there, there's my daily attendance button right there on the screen, right? So now we got that set up, okay? So once you get that set up, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up Power BI. So I'm gonna show you guys, open up Power BI Desktop. My favorite, I love the Power BI desktop. I live, breathe, right? I, got, I'm, I have three presentations coming up just on the Power BI desktop. Um, there's my phone. In fact, I'm flying out like at five o'clock in the morning to go talk about Power BI to some of my customers. So now I have it, choose get data and look for the Power BI service. So I'm just going to type power right here, Power BI service. Maybe you guys didn't know you could do this, but what you can do is, so you can connect up to a streaming data set or any data set that's published out to the Power BI service. And so in my workspace here, where I created my dynamic, um, my streaming data set, I can click it, get connected to it, and you can see right here in just a second, there's my data set, there's the, you know, the columns from that data set, and it says that I'm live connected down at the bottom. Great, awesome, this is amazing, right? Again, through the magic of YouTube, I'm not gonna make you guys walk, you know, watch me walk through building this report. I built out the report. I particularly did this because I needed to add a measure to it. So remember, I did a video a while ago about um, report level measures. And so I added a couple of report level measures, specifically one for student count, because I wanted to get the count of students so the teacher could see how many students are actually in class that day, okay? Once I finished designing it, 
I published it out to my workspace out in Power BI. So then over in Power BI, here's my report. I'm gonna go ahead and open my report. And I created the report here. You can see I use a synoptic panel. You go over here. If you guys don't know about it, it's a custom visual. It's great. Um, this is synoptic panel designer. There's some in the gallery you can download. Um, your own image and set up the synoptic panel. Synoptic panel. It's great. Um, I love it. I use it in this example. All right, back over to Power BI. So what I did was I built out my report, got everything set up, and then I created a dashboard. My report. So here's right now. It's empty. I'm just walking in the class this morning. Pretend I'm taking off my, you know, guy in the cube hat. Now I'm guy in the classroom. Sounds kind of cool. I'm guy in the classroom. Um, and so I'm a teacher. And so I have my little dashboard up for this particular class in a perfect world. I know, I know. How do you know what class? How do you know what period? How do you know what day, right? You can build all this stuff. Use your imagination, right? All right. So um, I have my dashboard built. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, gonna to show you how this works, okay? So on the, I'm going to open up my, my phone here. And so what you're gonna see is, on one side of the screen, you'll see my phone, okay? On the left side, you'll see my phone on one side of the screen and the, the um, daily attendance button, all right? On the right side, you're gonna see my, hang on one second. On the right side, you're gonna see my Power BI dashboard, okay? When I press the button, I want you guys to pay attention to the dashboard and watch what happens to it. There's gonna be a row that adds to the table. One of the seats, right? You can see the seats are numbered. This is seat number one is for the bad kid. That's probably where I'll have to sit. Then two, three, four, and on and so forth is where everybody else will sit in the class, right? Okay, and so when I click my flow button, it's gonna publish, it's gonna stream the data to my SQL server insert a row in the SQL Server, and then it's gonna stream that data directly to my dashboard, okay? Remember, phone on the left, dashboard on the right, okay? So there's my little input. Remember, I created that in my flow. I'm gonna enter my name. Remember, we can automate all this, right? But I love to do this with a demo. Check me out. And I see, uh-oh, not LeBlanc. I LeBlanc. And I'm in seat one, right? There we go. And we're gonna click done. And all right, press done on my phone. Can't press it on the on the page. And if you go to the dashboard, bam, there I go. Right. So let's do it again. Let's do Adam. Adam sits. He's a good kid. So I'm gonna enter Adam. Uh, boy, I gotta spell his name right. You guys bear with me. You gotta see this one more time live. And this is real, right? Adam sits in seat number three. Click done. Watch the screen. Bam. There's Adam, right? What? Are you kidding me, Patrick? What are you, some kind of genius? Nah, I'm not a genius, just really smart. All right, what do you guys think about this, right? Use your imagination, think about it. I'm just starting the th start process because Microsoft is constantly hitting me with these new technologies and I'm just trying to get the creative juices flowing. I was actually talking to a guy named Jason that I work with and he's like, you know what would be better? than this, right? If somehow we had some type of IOT device that could detect when a kid, you know, sit in a chair and automatically do this. I was like, it's a great idea. I was like, find a device, I'll write the, I'll build it. You know, you find it, you bring it, I'll build it. All right, what do you guys think? You like the video? You like the concept? You know, send me some thoughts, send me your comments, post them in the comments below. Are you doing something like this? Do you work for a K-12 and you're interested in a solution like this? Hit me up, post it in the comments below. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe. And if you like the video, give it two thumbs up. As always, from Adam and Patrick, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.